and it's been called kitschy, dated and even campy, but it's also been called timeless and a classic. But staying power has been Jubilee's legacy. Well past 16,000 shows at this point, we went inside Bally's to get a sense of what life was like both today and in days gone by. The mystery of success defines your legacy. It's a celebration of beauty. Crossing generations. It's very personal. Preserving the spectacle. There's nothing bigger, really, it's so big. Making art and beauty come alive. You'll never see another show like this. Every single night. This is the world of Jubilee, and its matron, historian, and leader is Fluff Lacoe. This is her world. Some people might think it's, it's hokey or whatever. I don't care, it's classic and it's beautiful. Fluff grew up on the stages of Paris, matured during dances of World War II, until she settled in Las Vegas in 1963. Jubilee has been her home since the day it opened in 1981. All the boys, all the girls, all the singers, all the showgirls, uh, all the principals, everybody I used to teach. Seen through the eyes of two of her dancers, Laura Priester. Now it's vintage and classic and historical. And Katie Kuro. I like the Fred and Ginger, I like the costumes. Pull it in, lift it up. <laughs> it's a chance to wear designs from legend Bob Mackie. It's got an open back and it's got feathers, just big long feathers. And a chance to wear Swarovski crystals passed from one generation to the next. Because it's just right. It doesn't, it doesn't need anything else. It's great just the way it is. And the show, like its leader. It's so cool to have her here. Carry the air of mystery and possibility. That enticement, that suggestion, that hint of what might be there. While the show features Samson and Delilah and the over-the-top Titanic, it hasn't changed much since the 80s. A simple combination, beautiful women. Because I'm six feet tall. And elaborate, iconic costumes. All the high heels, all the heavy headpieces and backpacks. It's been up to Fluff to preserve that legacy. She is so the show. It's up to me to keep it in sterling condition. Putting on the wrist. Every once in a while, someone comes along and wants to get rid of Gershwin or update the outfits. At 85, Fluff stands her ground and well, says no, no way. We're... I got in a lot of trouble several times <laughs> because I spoke my mind. <laughs> it's the laughter of knowing what's right and what works, making a connection to the audience. I'm dancing at the edge of the stage and they're looking up. And, yeah, and you see everyone's face out there. Getting the ovation. A lot of people hate their jobs. No one gets clapping at the end of their work day, and we do, and that makes it really special. Becoming a living artifact, tying them all to the Vegas of old, crafting the air of mystery on the stage. And if you want to watch me, maybe you'll discover the mystery. But the mystery is only that I am a woman. A show that will go on as long as history will allow.